Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black Z, and I have another video for you guys today. I want to talk about Crowcoin, Crypto.com. Is it time to buy? I also want to talk about Bitcoin and the overall market and where I think we could be headed here in the short term. So guys, we are at 10,200 subscribers. When we reach 25,000 subscribers, we're giving away a loaded line NFT. Subscribe right now, doing our Bitcoin giveaway tonight, 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And our live stream, make sure you check it out for a chance to win $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. Let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, still consolidating. We did break above $30,000 Bitcoin. We are now below it, just barely, very, very minimally. We're at $29,830 Bitcoin. But uh, all in all here, we're still up. We've, we had a, a nice move to the upside. There's lots of hype going on in the market right now. The real question is, Will it last in the short term? That's what I've been asking myself. And um, based on the previous cycles, I'm unfortunately going to lean a little bit bearish. I think that we could have significant moves to the upside. However, I'm not counting out at all for being pinned in this channel just barely above 28200 or just barely below 28200 And the reason why I talk about that price level is because it's a very, very key level. If we continue to get daily candle closes above 28200 then I think we have bullish continuation. If we continue to get daily candles below 28200 well, then I see bearish continuation, and I see much more sideways price action. Now, I still believe if we get these daily candle closes above 28200 that we will have a move to the upside, but I do think that there's going to be significant sideways price action leading into this Bitcoin halving. I don't think we're just off to the races just yet. Uh, I mean, if you, you zoom out and see, I mean, sure, it's nice to see a, a nice big 10% green candle on Bitcoin. That's very important. It plays a very integral role in the four-year cycles. Just like in the previous cycle when Bitcoin dominance was starting to really roar up and kind of just take out the altcoins, Bitcoin dominance was coming up. But Bitcoin dominance, once again, is starting to come down a little bit. But there also was a capitulation after that. This capitulation I'm keeping a very close eye on, guys, because I don't think that it's going to be directly to, the, directly to every single dollar and decimal point of the price action from the previous cycle, but I think that it's going to be very similar. These data points have been, from the four-year cycles, have been quite accurate, and it's the most accurate data point reference that we've had compared to every other metric. So I'm going to be following that, and I do think that this $28,200 price level is very, very important. Now, what does that mean for Crowcoin? Is it time to buy Crowcoin? Well, I'll tell you what right now, seeing this right here, breaking above back into this key, key channel, I'm bullish. I'm definitely bullish. Having daily candle closes above 5.5 cents back inside this key channel of 5.5 cents to 0 0.0689 cents is very important in my mind. I do think that we need to be getting these daily candle closes above it, above the 5.5 cent mark for me to see, or for me to really kind of give more conviction into uh, more bullish continuation. However, would I be buying right now? Well, I'm buying right now. I'm buying right now. I'm taking my staking rewards from Crowcoin and I'm reinvesting it into Crow. I am also deploying a minimal amount of capital out of my portfolio into Crowcoin as of right now. Guys, I would be buying much more heavy-handed if I didn't already have a significant bag. I'm talking very, very significant bag here. I'm not trying to um, increase that because I don't want it to be a larger portion of my portfolio. I need to be accumulating Bitcoin and Ethereum because right now I think that that is the more important asset to be accumulating leading into this Bitcoin happening because I do think that Crowcoin will bleed out, not only Crowcoin, the altcoins will bleed out against Bitcoin and Ethereum as we get a, bit, a little bit closer to the Bitcoin happening. As Bitcoin starts to make some large, large moves to the upside, the Crowcoin versus Bitcoin chart, you will see there is a chance of a 30% drawdown. That doesn't mean that Crowcoin is going to come down another 30%, but just means that the value of Crowcoin versus Bitcoin could come down 30%, which means that your value of your money would have a 30% increase if you had in Bitcoin over Crowcoin. 
So that's why I'm increasing my portfolio size for Bitcoin and Ethereum. However, guys, it doesn't mean that I'm not accumulating Crocoin. I, of course, I'm accumulating Crocoin, and I'm continuing to do that with my staking rewards. Guys, let's take a look over the S&P 500 a little bit too, because it's important that we've been keep that we keep our eyes on this. I've been looking at this, and we need to see a daily and weekly candle close above 4,614. Right now, we are sitting at. 4,414. We need to see a little bit more of a price move to the upside. I want to see tests of previous all-time highs. I do expect something like this to happen, where we come up here and test this, come down with a little cup and handle, and depending on what Jerome Powell says, is either going to be a make-or-break moment for us, and we're either going to capitulate down, or we're going to make the cup and handle, and we're going to turn bullish. We're going to make new all-time highs. I'm I'm very very tentative when I when I'm paying attention to this chart because this chart is very very important and pays plays a very key role in where cryptocurrency is headed in the short term, but not in the short term. F, guys, let's look look at the Bitcoin happening because it is coming up quite quickly. It's about ten months out. The four year cycle data points are very important to follow, and you know the time frame. 10 months is not that large of a time frame when you're talking cryptocurrency. A lot can happen in 10, 10 months. But when it comes to price action, I really do believe that right after this Bitcoin happening is we're going to start seeing some fireworks. Maybe a month or two or three after, maybe a, the quarter following the Bitcoin happening. But be patient, guys. Be patient. Don't be shaken out if we come up to 32000 and capitulate down. I believe that 32000 is a very, very key price point as well. If we do get these daily candle closes above 28200 the next target is 32700 And if we do break above that, then I believe that we're going to have some significant price action. But as of right now, I'm keeping, with, I'm, keep, I'm keeping watch with a very, very close eye because a lot can happen here. A lot of different things can happen here. And until we break some key levels, I'm going to stay cautiously optimistic. But guys, if you like this type of content, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel right now. Please consider becoming a member of the channel. All you got to do is go below this video, click the join button. You get some awesome perks, these custom loyalty badges and emojis that you can use during our live streams every Tuesday and Thursday, 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Tonight, we are announcing the winner for our Bitcoin giveaway, $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. Super excited about that. Also, if you are a member, you get access to our private Discord with NFT Alpha, Trade Signals, and more of a one-on-one -on -one community with CryptoKip and I. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.